Okay. That's not one the, of the funniest stories I've ever heard. Not the Jurassic Park story. No. Okay. This is a Tandy Andrews story. Okay. We've all heard many stories about Tandy. Some of you out there probably hated her guts, and some of you worshipped her like the goddess she was. She was a friend of mine. I know how she could be. The bishop, if nothing else, was a gag and very funny. One time that the saint in Texas, they bust the bar. Thank you, Texas. They bust the whole bar and they load everybody up. And Tanny has been full the entire night in full drag. They take her into the whole jail cell and they can't figure out what to do with her. She says she's up in there and all the whores that have been brought in that night that are queens are saying, hey, Miss Girl, hey, Tandy, what's up, girl? And she's gagging because she don't want them to spook her teeth because she kind of got out of makeup and was like thinking they're going to put me through it. Sure enough, they have to bring a doctor in to try to check it all out. Because one woman searched her and she had yanked the little bitty weenie so far back that they thought she had a cunt. Well, they try to search her and they finally get her tea that she's got a weenie and everything. The doctor comes in and searches her a second time. She said, bitch, girl, you know, I was like snapping by then. I'm like naked in a room with like cold walls and no drugs. I didn't know what to do. A few minutes later, the doctor comes back again, and they all stand there and stare at her naked in the room. You know, people can be cruel in the enforcement industry. After the fourth time, the doctor comes in to try to look at her genitals for one more time. Tandy sees that the door is cracked open to the room, and in her naked, complete state, hits it through the door, past all of the jail cells with people screaming, and as the glass wall separates all the people that have been brought in, and the desk and everything, and all the policemen, she slams her body against the wall, naked, cock tits pressed against the glass, and goes, You gotta love a hoe. God rest her soul, that was hilarious to me. No, bitch, you're gonna turn her completely she's out. She was great. Fabulous. You can't help it. That you're a story. You know, <laughs> I've got to go get a bob and some eyeliner or something. I'm just kind of gagging. <laughs> you're doing like a little bit hair? I'll bring you in. Bring me some hair. Monica Monroe goes to a preliminary with a big, huge suitcase and a little purse. Monica, where are your costumes? In my purse. <laughs> What's in the suitcase? Hair. Hair and shoes. I can't help it. A bitch never needs to know she's feeling bloated. The more hair you have on, the thinner you look. So I gotta wear a lot of hair sometimes. Shit. Former Miss Continental and a former EOI, give it up for Monica Monroe.